seven things you need to know before moving to Wichita, Kansas. Now I'm going to break this down from kind of a data and stats level. I'm going to screen share and show you some things, but also from a local knowledge level from living here my whole life, um, 34 years, been born and raised in West Wichita, but then I uh, live east now. I used to live downtown for a little bit, but I know the culture and the people of the city very, very well and what it's like. Um, but before we get into all that, please like, comment, subscribe, share. And if you stick around to the end, I got a bonus deal for you that you might be interested if you're a buyer or seller in the Wichita, Kansas area or looking to move here. But anyway, here's the seven things. Dude, I can't tell you how hard it was to like do this with your hands back and forth, making sure it looked right. <laughs> but it's weird. Um, so anyway, the seven things you need to know before moving to Wichita, Kansas. And I'm going to start screen sharing to get this for you. But the first one is that everywhere is 15 minutes away. Like I know bigger cities and other places, you might not be used to that. But um, here in Wichita, like literally everything is like 15 minutes away. Um, so it's really easy to get there. And I might be exaggerating a little bit. It might be 20 or 25 minutes. But to be honest with you, like that's really not that far when you think about it. So here's the map of Wichita. The little Wichita, Kansas, the... I call it a little big town in Wichita, Kansas, because it's um, it's a big city size, population size. We're about 600,000 metro, metro, metropolitan area. Um, but we got kind of a small town local feel to it all, especially on the west side. And I'm going to get into some of that a little bit later, too. So if you scroll out all the way from America and then scroll all the way in, you know, here's Kansas when it loads in a sec. So there's Kansas, there's Wichita, in between Oklahoma City, Missouri, Kansas City is probably the closest, biggest city to us. And uh, as you start to scroll in, you can see what everything is like. And if you get directions from Wichita to, I don't know, let's just say college, from the middle of Wichita, it is 22 minutes. So like I said, I might exaggerate a little bit with everything being 15 minutes away, but that's 18 miles in 22 minutes. So here you can shrink it down and Wichita to Mays is 15 minutes. And from middle of Wichita over to like Auburn Hills Golf Course is 15 minutes. You could go from the west side down to the south side and it's 12 minutes, 16 minutes. Derby's 20 minutes, so a little further away. But it cracks me up when people are like, I want to live, you know, within 30 minutes of my work. I'm like, well, that's pretty much anywhere. So depending on where you want to live, everything is very close. Um, and you have a lot of major amenities um, for the area. So everything's really close. That's one of the perks of living in Wichita. Now, of course, there's different pockets and neighborhoods that are better for you, uh, real estate value wise and school wise and that kind of thing. Um, but that's a topic for another video um, on this one number two is that you get every season here so this is the historical data for wichita so if you like fall yeah we got that here you like winter got that too summer yep and if you like what's the last one I'm missing spring my favorite then yeah we have that season as well so you get a wide range of every experience you want to from snow to heat waves to 110 degree weathers to negative 10 degree weathers and everywhere in between um, as you look at some of these averages in January, February, June, my birthday month, you should remember that. <laughs> Just kidding. And July, September, you can kind of see it follows kind of a bell curve up and down. And what's funny is the real estate market kind of follows this too, because people don't want to buy and sell in the winter and they don't want to move in the winter. So everything kind of slows down. We all kind of hibernate over the winter uh, months for everything. Um, so we have every season here. Number three, my personal favorite, we have great pickleball here. There's a lot of famous pickleball players that live and play in Wichita. We have a lot of courts, both indoor and outdoor, a lot of free courts through the city that they provide. Uh, but then also, in my opinion, one of the best chicken and pickles that's out here with six indoor permanent courts. You can see my buddy Michael Harris there is the local pro right now. Pat Smith, like he's one of the pro players that lives here in Wichita. Same with Jay UVA and... Uh, Lucy Kovalova, Matt Wright, uh, that play out of here. So if you're into pickleball or fun sports, it's a growing, emerging sport, um, gaining a lot of popularity, not just with old people, but with young people too. We have a lot of really good pickleball here. 
So if you didn't know that about Wichita, now you do. And we have, I think, like 2,400 people on our Facebook group and a very active playtime scheduler. If you want to get connected to Pickleball in Wichita, let me know. And I can get you connected with like Ching um, or some of the other people that um, really promote and have a lot of Pickleball going on with everything. So great Pickleball here. Fun fact about Wichita, especially when you travel to other cities and you see what it's like and and what's going on. Like we have a lot of really great facilities, a lot of really great players too. So you can get pretty good at it. And they're very fun and they're warm, they're welcoming. And you don't have a bunch of this like clicky standoffishness. So great pickleball. Uh, number four, West Side versus East Side is a big deal. Like and it's a real thing. And there's a whole like cultural shift. And I don't want to say divisiveness, but kind of because it's not real divisiveness. But there is definitely a style and a brand that goes with both of those, depending on what you want. And West Side is more of a small town feel um, because a lot of that came from agricultural communities, traditional conservative communities. And it's a lot of families, a lot of neighborhoods, a lot of churches, a lot of schools, a lot of grocery stores, very little bars on the West Side, um, very little entertainment out there. Um, and I'm from there and I'm not knocking it. I'm just telling you the difference in what the West Side's like compared to the East Side. The East Side's a lot more of a bigger city feel. It's kind of the older part of the city, which is pretty normal for cities to grow in that way. Um, but you're going to get more private development, um, more development just in general from a public and private and commercial standpoint. So more of the bigger city things are over on the East Side, a lot more dense, a lot more traffic, a lot more things to do. It just kind of depends on the style of city and what you're kind of looking for as far as the demographics of the different sides of town, but it is a big thing on West side versus East side. And it's kind of cracks me up to be honest with you. Cause I love all sides of it. Um, but it's funny to see how much of a like tribalism there is between West side to East side on everything. And it's a big deal. The other thing you can see from this is that we don't all live on farms. Yes, there are farms in Wichita, you can see all the farm ground out here towards Andale and Colwich, which is where a lot of my family is from, Garden Plain, Guarded area. But if you look at the major metropolitan area, we're a pretty large city with a lot of um, manufacturing and aerospace and healthcare and other, you know, industries that have a big enough market and enough going on that it's like we're not all just a bunch of hicks living on farms. We do have a yellow brick road. I don't know Dorothy or her dog Toto. So there's that. But we don't all live on farms. We're not quite all hicks like you might think we are on everything. Um, I will tell you, though, it is the worst dating city in the U.S. Well, close anyway. It's number two, only behind Kansas City. And this is all coming from moneyinc.com. And they literally, I, I was cracking up laughing when I was watching these things because, or reading these things, because like I definitely relate with a lot of this. And that is absolutely like true on everything so wichita kansas is one of the worst dating cities in the u.s so if you're looking to come here to find your soulmate this is probably not the best place to do it to be honest with you but if you're like hey actually i like that because now i don't got a bunch of young punks and kids running around trying to do all kinds of crazy things um you know wichita is pretty good for that we're pretty laid back it's a great place to raise a family is what i've always said but it's not the best place to party if you're looking to party um you know and we see a lot of our younger talent move away from here and then come back when they want to settle down and start to really pay attention to things that matter in life and the bigger things like raising a family and, you know, housing prices and quality of living and, you know, commute times and everything else that goes with all that. But it's the worst dating city in the U S and I could personally vouch for that. Um, Cause it's rough out there. <laughs> and the number seven, the last one is that real estate values are fairly stable when it comes to Wichita, Kansas. We don't see the giant, um, you know, what do I want to call it? The giant, you know, upticks in values, but we also don't see the giant downswings when it comes to the long term, you know, looking at real estate as general in Wichita. Um, we have a very affordable pricing with our um, average price point right around 220 um, for everything. So it's really possible to get into a house, to own a house here. Um, we do have a good amount of inventory too, compared to like the rest of the country and how that is. Um, and real estate values are fairly stable here. So if you're looking for like long-term investments and um, things like that, like this is a really good market for that, for um, you know, your personal home or just investment homes to buy. We don't have a lot of multifamily like apartment complexes and things like that. Um, there's a lot of builders putting up duplexes and like duplex neighborhoods. Um, we do have a lot of that going on with everything, but um, I'd encourage you 
to, oh yeah, I was going to show you some of these stats from our realtor handout. And this is from January, 2023, depending on when you're looking at this, watching this. Um, but this gives you kind of an idea of like prices are fairly stable, you know, depending on the month by month on everything. Um, same thing with closed listings. We follow that bell curve, like I was talking about uh, the winter months, people don't really want to move or do anything, but the end of the spring and summer, this thing really just blows up um, and then kind of tails off towards the end of the year where people are starting to get into holidays and everything else. So a uh, fairly stable, fairly predictable real estate market. Um, it is very strong, healthy real estate market as well on everything. And surprisingly, we do a lot of cash deals around here uh, just because, you know, we're more of a conservative state and people that are more conservative tend to put their money into safer investments with real estate is one of the safest investments you can make as long as you plan for it in a three to five year or longer game plan. Like it's undefeated. It works over time, you know, very, very well. Um, and then also to give you an idea, if you wanted to go check out like my website, which homehair.com, there's a lot of resources on here for you to not only get to know Wichita, but also to like get familiar with the process of buying a home, building a home, selling here, the different communities, um, take in, you know, get an idea of like what the areas and price points are like on everything. And so like you could search by area, you could search by price point. So let's just do like maze real quick to give you an idea of what's in maze. And they give you an overview of the maze area and kind of seeing, you know, what type of house um, you could get over here. So like these featured listings. So like this one. No. So this is a new build at 10494 Wilkinson Street, three bed, two bath, 1266 square feet for 298000 Looks like it's a slab home as well. Um. This one looks like it probably has a basement. It's kind of hard to tell from the pictures on everything. But you could go search list view like that. You could go search, um, you know, either a list like this, or you could go to the map as well to check everything out. And uh, all this comes straight from, you know, the same MLS feed we're using. It's just going to be us behind it. You're not going to have a bunch of crazy this going on like you sometimes see on Zillow, Realtor.com or some of those others. But um, anyway, I encourage you to go kind of check out the values around Wichita and see what they're like just to get a feel for houses out there. And then we can set you up custom home search alerts too to, you know, evaluate what type of property you want, what the market's like, that kind of thing. Um, let's see. And then the bonus for the end of this, if you stuck around all the way to the end of this, thank you very much for watching all this and getting all the way to the end. You know, I know this is a good amount of your time and I really appreciate you sticking around watching all this. Here's the bonus. If you're a buyer or a seller in Wichita and you saw this and you decided to work with us and use us at this point, I have some lender credits and some other um, things that I can get with some of, from some of my partners, not necessarily straight for me, but some of my partners to make this worth your while of doing business with us. And it's not coming straight from me as a realtor because I got to stay compliant with all the rules and regulations and all that. But I do have deals from my partners that I can get for you. When I say partners, I mean like lending, title, insurance, uh, home warranty, movers, things like that, that I can get you uh, special deals on um, through my connections, through my network of working with me. If you mentioned you saw this at the end of this, but please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share. Appreciate watching as always. Hopefully this helped you learn a little bit more about the seven things you need to know before moving to Wichita. Check out some of my other videos. If you also want to learn about Wichita, visit my website and just have at it and have fun with everything. And hopefully one day I'll get to talk to you. See ya.